Hello? How you Hello? doing? Yeah. This is Cobble Dam Oh, okay. We're, we're good. Spoken Spoken police. police. How you doing? I'm good. Good. Monster Jones, we do have a cam cameras on, so you're being recorded, okay? Okay. Okay. Like, uh, my English uh, is not Oh, we'll, we'll work with you. Yeah, That's okay. Because, uh, talk a Sounds pretty good to me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he, he told me about war, like, uh, I will uh, make you go to a hospital, and uh, I will uh, make you go to your country for the global. Okay. Like, uh, who, who Where is he at? It's your roommate? Yeah, he, he stole me a lot of money. He stole some money from you? Yeah. Okay. Go up there. He told me, you are not my my size. This is a, a good game like this. What's this his name? Carl. What's his name? Eric. Eric? Yeah. This is a nice, kind of nice apartment. Hey, sir, how you doing? Oh, how's it going? You're good. Hey, just so you know, he's being recorded, okay? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. All right, so what's going on? Hi. All right. Uh, what's up? So. All right. Yeah, sure, what's going on? All right, well, it's been a, there's been a string of things. Um, shoot, so our landlord was just here, and, uh, Cully said he was going to call the police. So, uh, yeah, my landlord was like, go ahead, call the police, and, uh, you know, call, he called the police because, uh, I gave him $444 yesterday, and I kept the 40 that's half of his, his half of the Abyss stuff, because the Abyss is in my name here, and, uh, he thinks I still owe it to him, which I, you know, I offered to give it to him, um, so long as he gave me, you know, my bed back that I gave him. He just now brought it back out, but uh. What was the 444? The four. Uh, well, see, this is the thing. Um, he paid all the money to move in here mm -hmm. um, without telling me. Uh, we were roommates before, and he uh, he paid uh, $800 to move in here, and uh, you know, so I, you know, paid him what I owed him to move in here for first month's rent and the deposit, and uh, yeah, that's what I owed. Him, so. Mm -hmm. There's no dispute over that. Yeah, no no dispute over that. Okay. Um, but uh. So the dispute is over the forty bucks. Yeah, which is which the is half of the Avista. Um, half of the Avista. Okay. Which is in my name. Uh -huh. I've explained that to him, you know, a million times. Uh, it's it's come to a head because um. He he lost money. Um, and he thinks, you know, a bunch of things have been stolen, although I, I have found them for, he's, you know, he's a foreigner. Um, he thought all of his pots and pans were stolen, his spices were stolen, I had just put them away in the mm -hmm. cupboards. Mm -hmm. um, he thought I stole his headphones, because we have the same exact headphones. Mm -hmm. So I showed him the receipt and the box, you know, that I bought the headphones in. Um, did, you ever, did he ever find your, his headphones? I don't know. Did, did you, you ever find them? your headphones? He has like okay. four big bags down in storage. Can I talk now? Mm-hmm. Okay, the, the first thing, when I called the police, mm -hmm. he told me I won't give you the money. He, he told me, uh, okay, did, 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 do you want to talk before the police? I, I told him, stop talking. I don't want to talk to uh, you now. When, uh, when we come to the we start talking about everything. And in the morning, he, uh, he, he was in the, an outside. I don't uh, apologize. Uh, uh, can you log me on? I was in the apartment. When Sorry. he uh, came back to the apartment, he, uh, I was in the kitchen. He came to me, uh, fight me like, hey, like, I don't know how to explain, because I was not perfect. Mm -hmm. But he told me, uh, he, he taught me like always. Hey, like uh, he, he was upset. Was he mad at you? Yeah. About what? Uh, about uh, he told me you have to move out. 
Okay. Well, uh, I, I, I already have this. Right. right. Uh, for uh, nine uh, days. Who, 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 uh, who, is, who is he told me like that? Right. Then, well, uh, why did you want him to move out? What was can, that about? Can we get our landlord down here first? He, he knows the situation. Uh, we don't need him down there. I mean, you can explain it to okay. us. So, um, why did you want him to move out? He, so this, he has planned on moving out. He's planned on moving out. So I arranged for my friend to uh, move in. Gotcha. Today, um, the lit, our land, the owner of the building, Lee, came here at 3. My buddy Marlon, who was going to move in, came here at 3 o'clock, you know, to fill out the application uh -huh. to move in and everything. Right. And, because um, he, you know, he even told our landlord that he planned on moving out. You know, he did? Me, yes. Um, you know, once I paid him all of his money and everything that I owed him, I paid him. And I still expected him to move out, and he changed his mind. Changed his mind, yeah. right. And I, have, so I yep. was, uh, you know, I was like, you know, my my friend just moved here from Seattle. Right. He's going to be homeless now. You know, you've been telling us. Right. You've been telling me and the landlord that you're going to mm -hmm. move out, you mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. And uh, right at the last minute, you know, you change your mind, and uh, yeah. my friends can be homeless now. Right. So you know they're here filling out the applications and stuff. And Lee, the owner of the building, you know, our landlord, he suggests he's like Marlon, why don't you, you know, he doesn't want Marlon to be homeless, so he suggests for him to you know sleep here in our living room. And mm -hmm. stuff. So um, because it's getting pretty bad between me and him, obviously, if you have uh -huh. all the cops over, you know, mm -hmm. half of what of a building video. But yeah, our landlord. You know, he, he uh, agreed to let Marlon, you know, sleep here on the on the floor. You That's know, cool. So we can move across the hallway. Okay. Um, you and your friend? Yeah, me oh, and Marlon. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. and, um, so he's going to transfer the deposit and everything. And, uh, you know, he said that a colleague would still have to cut. And colleague wants to honor this, honor the lease now that he would have to pay, you know, full rent here. You know, right. All $800. And, right. Eight hundred, and Polly got mad. He's like, "No, I'm gonna, you know, I'm only gonna pay half. You know, my, I'm only paying for that room. Mm -hmm. So, in, you know, him and our So, so your lease for here was kind of up. So you well, had it's the, not up. Oh. We've, we've been, we've lived in here for two weeks. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow. So yeah. It's, uh, but I'm, I'm curious why the uh, apartment manager is allowing you to move across the hall. Because of the situation, oh, okay. and he's the building owner. He owns the building, so he's a, uh, you know, he he saw it today when you know Khalid came in. You know, Khalid came in and he was yelling and stuff. And uh -huh. and I just you know I just sat here and I let sure. him yell at our landlord. So, uh, so that one is open currently. Not yet. He's moving. Uh, Soon. Yeah, he's moving at the end of the month. So, Can I help now? Sure. Okay, there is a lot of things. I told you one thing of uh, this thing. Uh -huh. uh, uh, I uh, also actually I didn't told him I move out today. I I, I told the, the owner the for yesterday. You can't ask. Oh, is is nine one one calling right now? Huh? Who's calling you? Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Because uh, when you tell nine one one? Yeah. Oh, I just ignore. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, uh, uh, I told the Warner before uh, yesterday. I told uh, I, to I told them uh, uh, I didn't move out. I didn't told uh, him. Your you mm -hmm. I told the Warner before yesterday. I didn't. I didn't move out. Right. That's right. Okay. That's fine. Yeah. Uh, also, uh, the second thing uh, that is. Me and him. No, unfortunately, sorry, I couldn't how, quite copy that how again. The, somebody came uh, stay here without uh, uh, to meet like uh, to meet. Uh, yeah, and I have. Uh, okay. Can you listen to me? Yeah. Yeah, and he told me. Uh, he told me about work for uh, for uh, 15 minutes. He told me, uh, you are not uh, same my side. Uh -huh. uh, I will go to I will go to hospital like that. I didn't get it done. Uh huh. But uh, some more. Right. He told me like this. I will uh, I will go to your hospital if you uh, talk like this. We don't know. Sure. Yeah, and he told me I will go to I will uh, make you go to back your country. Uh huh. So I I I. I so uh, he was part. It sounds like he was upset, right? Yeah. So he was saying that because he was upset. I don't know. Well, and, it sounds like he probably was. And, uh, yes, when he met, uh, he told me that. Sure. 
Uh, also, I, I don't feel comfortable, no. Because maybe, right. maybe he will make me problems, some problems tomorrow or after mm -hmm. tomorrow. Or see like this, I don't know what he will yeah. do for me. Yeah. This. So, I, I agree with all what you're saying. I think he agrees too. You guys probably shouldn't be living together. So, he, he was under the understanding. He thought that you were going to move out. Did you give him that impression that you were going to move out? Uh, I, t I told him I am not sure. Okay, and that's fine. Yeah. And, and that's your decision. Yeah. You change your mind, you want to stay here. Yeah. That's fine, that's your decision. Yeah. But he had made plans for his friend to live here, yeah. and y you said you weren't sure. Well, now his friend's moving, he has no place to stay. So I understand where he's coming from. Mm -hmm. He's like, dude, I got to... So sounds like the apartment manager is trying to help him out yeah. and allowing him to move over across the hall. Yeah. So do you, do you have any friends or, or anybody that can move in here with you to help you pay with the rent? I will look in for you'll look, you'll look into but that? But I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Right. And, and if you can't find anybody? I mean, that's something where, I, I, I don't know, if you guys signed an agreement, I don't know. If actually, it's, actually, I call It's a civil matter. We're not going to get involved with that because we're not going to interpret your yeah, I, contract. And, no, I... Uh, but I think we can all agree that you guys probably shouldn't be living I, together. I, I, I called you. After two weeks, and you guys are, yeah. Well, I, I you know, called, we've, uh, hold on, you called us why? I called you, not, not for this, I don't care about this. I care, well, maybe, I think, maybe he will make me some problem tomorrow or in the future. You know, you know yeah. what I mean? Okay. How, that's soon, that's maybe that's how soon is that one across the street going to be? Uh, he said, you know, maybe October 15th because the guy's getting deployed. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to do anything. Okay. And that's what, so I want you to be clear. See, we're here, and he's telling us, you're going to be okay. He's not going to do anything stupid, okay? Yeah. If he does something, if he, something happens to you, guess guess who we're going to come talk to? Him. Yeah. So he knows that. He's not going to do anything. So don't worry about, yeah. don't worry about that, right? Because he told me, I will go, I will make you to go hospital like this. Uh-huh. That's not a good work, right? Right. I will think about this uh, consensus like this. Right. Yeah, because I'm not, uh, I'm not feeling comfortable, no. Right. And you, and you have the option. It sounds like you can move, too. If you want to find a new place to live, you can do that, too. But, but uh, uh, I like this apartment. <laughs> okay. And you might stay here oh. by yourself. That's okay, no problem. Okay, okay. But, but uh, also, uh, I, I bought uh, some money cash here, and uh, I just know how, how to take money. Also, me and him in this apartment. Uh -huh. uh, I, uh, I, don't, uh, I don't know how to take my stuff, uh, my, my money. I, I also take cash here uh -huh. in my pocket. Right. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, someday I bought uh, my jacket here. Uh huh. Uh, tonight, uh, in the night. Uh, also, I bought in, uh, inside the jacket money, cash. Yeah. Then I will go to sleep. Okay. The next uh, day, in the morning, I didn't find my money. Okay. How much? How much money? Uh, Forty-five. Forty-five dollars. Okay. I asked him. He do, he told me I don't know. Mm -hmm. Uh, I told him, do you want to uh, show you the receipt? I mm -hmm. take the money. Because mm -hmm. I am sure I bought the money in the case. Mm -hmm. He told, told me, I don't know, I don't know, like this. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, who take the money? Just me and him in this apartment. Right. Who take the money? Right. Well, in a case like this, what you need to do is, until you get, obviously you guys aren't getting along and you're going to be accusing each other of doing things. So, anything that you have that's valuable, make sure you keep it on you. That way you know the only person that has it is you, okay? okay? You might want to think about sharing your time in this apartment, in the common area. So if he's using the kitchen, yeah. you don't use the kitchen. If you're using the kitchen, you don't use the kitchen. Charlie, yeah. 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 Okay? Yeah. And vice versa. And the same thing with the living room Great. and everything else. Yeah. So, I mean, uh, you two are going to have to get along until you're not willing to be there. Okay, uh, I have a question. He, uh, he will uh, bring the, uh, his friends to stay here for today, or? Hmm. What's up? He's wondering if he can let his friend stay here. Who? You? No, not me. He doesn't, he doesn't want his friend to stay here. Okay. So, uh, if you listen, the deal with his friend, if you don't like his friend being here, you need to talk to the landlord. If the landlord says it's okay for him to be here, it's okay for him to be here. That's just it's a civil issue. We can't do anything about that. So, but uh, the owner doesn't tell me about that today. 
I I I meet I have to meet uh, the owners there, yeah. but he didn't told me the his friends stay here. And then right. you go talk to the owner and say, yep. hey, can his friend be there? But, but he told me no, he he will uh, move uh, on tonight. Okay, then if he says he can be there, he can be there. We can't. I can't tell you. I can't go against the landlord owner of the building. Yeah, he can make his own rules. Uh, in regards to occupancy, it sounds like if you had a friend and you wanted him to stay here, sounds like you could do that too, right? If he can do it, then you can do it, right? Okay, stay one day, two day, three day, not two weeks. I don't know. Again, that's up to the owner. If the owner says he can be here indefinitely, yeah, then apartments usually can't control that. Like, I've lived in an apartment before, and I had a friend come and stay for a couple weeks. You know. They can't say no. But this you, is my apartment. I pay for it, right? You have friend. You have to come You have to come in. Did I what? When you have well, no. I understand what you're saying. No. Yeah. But you, the only place in this apartment that you have sole rights over is your room. Yeah. Right. Right. He can have whoever he wants it, and they can be in the living room, yeah. in the kitchen, in the bathroom. I, I don't care about his room. He, he told me he will stay here. Okay. Yeah, he okay. will sleep here. He told me you should move your stuff. Mm-hmm. Okay. So th this is okay. This is where we're getting at. Okay, we're nitpicking little things. Yeah. We need to be on the understanding that until either he moves out across the street, across the apartment, yeah. Yeah. or you find somewhere else, yeah. until that time, you two need to get along. So if it's not inconveniencing you too much, like moving these so they can put a bed there, or whatever the case may be, I would say just go ahead and do it. So we're not coming back here. Just something. try to get along, you know. Okay, it's okay. I can okay. be a whole okay. rent. I am not uh, not worried for that. Okay. But uh, I am worried. He, he told me he will bring somebody sleep here, and you should. He told me you should move all the stuff. Okay. So I think he was asking you to move the stuff so they can move it. No, he didn't. Uh, he, he told me you have to move uh, uh, your stuff. Oh. Right, how about this? Ask him if you can please move his stuff. Please move the stuff, probably. Uh, but but uh, I don't feel comfortable when somebody because they want to sit here, uh, study and like this. Mm -hmm. I don't want to sit uh, somebody here. Okay. He he has a, he already has a room. Right. That's right. No. He can has, your buddy he can has your a room? Yeah. yeah. But where's his friend going to sleep? And, and has their own because they, uh, there you because go. That's, that's fine. I am a student. Everybody sleep in your room. I I need to study <laughs> and I need to uh, sit relax here. Yeah. I'm a student here. Right. I, I can't uh, all the time stay in my room. Hey, welcome to having a roommate and living in an apartment with a roommate. Yeah. That's that's. If you don't want any of that, then you have to get your own apartment, and then you can do whatever you want. You have to worry about stuff missing. You have to worry about people sleeping. I don't know. It's yeah. we because we we're police officers. We can't enforce that. It's not a crime. We can't say yeah. you must not let your friends sleep here or I will take you to jail. We can't do that, you know. Okay. We're, we're police officers. Also, we're just trying to help you out here a little bit, you know. I hope not. Also, he didn't uh, give me my money. He, he told me I give you for, uh, he, he, give, he already gave me 440. Uh, but uh, I, uh, you only uh, me 484. He just to uh, give me uh, 440. When I called the police, he came to told me I will give you the, uh, okay. the money. Okay. You know. Do you have money that you can give him? Yeah, I do. Oh, yeah. Okay. Give me well, I'm just I'm sorry. I'm just being stubborn because you know up until until you guys got here, I I was holding. I was trying to give him the money. Mm -hmm. and I was like, you know, just bring my bed back out here and I'll give you the money. He's like, no, uh -huh. I'll call the cops. Uh -huh. so, so what's up with the bed now? Oh, that's okay. my so, bed. I gave it to him. So now you oh, got well. the bed back, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. So let's give him the money. And then we can be. Then he can be somewhat happy, and we can get out of here. You got the money? Oh yeah, yeah. Cool, cool. <laughs> and I called you before I didn't uh, want uh, any problem in the future. Sure. Because well, he uh, he uh, he told me I will uh, let you go to your country back. I will. Yeah. He can't do that, right? No, no. Maybe he maybe he drugs uh, what's in my room drugs. I think about that. Some what? Drugs or something. Drugs. Yeah. Drugs. Drugs? Uh, oh, oh, yeah, gotcha. or, or something. Oh. So I don't, so I don't want any problems here. I right. came for a study here, not right, uh, right. make a problem or something. Get out.
you're, you're going to owe me this in about four days for electricity. Okay. Are you going to be able to pay me back? When you give me the uh, uh, bill for... Uh, the electricity? Yeah. And the bill for... The bill for... The email to me. Okay. So, okay. so if you show him the bill. Yeah, if he shows you the bill. I need the bill for not online. Yeah. Right. Then I, I, Sounds I, reasonable. I'd want to see the bill too, right? Yeah. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine with that. I mean, that seems reasonable. Yeah, I'm just letting you know. If they're charging you 20 bucks and you're saying, hey, I need 40, then I'd be like, what? But, yeah. We can't, we, again, we can't enforce that. We can suggest, hey, man, I would, that seems reasonable to us, but. So, yeah. that kind of stuff that you're talking about with the bill, the money, the power, it's called civil. It's, uh, we're, we don't get involved with that. Okay? So, okay. but now people threatening you, bodily harm, putting you in the hospital, we'll get involved with that. Yeah, I don't know if you say about that. Sure. Okay. Um, I was standing there, mm -hmm. we were arguing, and uh, he goes, you want to hit me? You want to hit me? Mm -hmm. And I was like, I'm a big guy. I don't uh, think, you know, uh, you want me hitting you because you would end up in the hospital. Okay. So, that he, no? He, he, he changed the story? Yeah. Okay, what happened? You tell me. <laughs> anyway, it's okay. But I, were you doing that? Were you saying, hit me, hit me? No, I didn't, I didn't talk to that. You didn't do that? I didn't talk to that. Really? Yeah. What did you do? Uh, I didn't talk anything. I told him to stop talking. When it comes double E's, you can't talk everything. Because uh -huh. I don't want to talk with you. Uh -huh. no. uh -huh. When that comes double E's, talk with me. Uh -huh. like, uh, like that. Okay. Also, he, he, he doesn't stop talking. So you, you're you saying that you never said, oh, hit me, hit me? No. Hmm. Uh -huh. Because no, that makes sense. That would make sense. Like, I don't, I'm not going to hit you. I'll put you in the hospital. I didn't say hit me or anything. I said stop talking. Also, when it comes down... So you told him to stop talking. That's when he said, I'll put you in the hospital? When did he say, I'll put you in the hospital? After uh, when I... Uh, no. No, after... Not after. He, he, uh, he's still talking. After that, uh, uh, told me, I will go, uh, go to your hospital and uh, go back to your country and like this. Mm. What's the, that's true, it's true. Okay, well see, now this is w one of these points where, see, he's saying something, and you're saying another, I don't know what happened. Yeah. You know, you said, no, I never said, hit me, hit me. No, I didn't well, say With what he's saying, it kind of makes sense. It kind of makes sense. If like, I, I'm not going to hit you. If I hit you, I'd put you in the hospital. No, I, if yeah. I did that, I will tell you, I, I hit. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. Okay, he's changed the story, you know? Okay, and that's possible. People yeah. do that. Uh, can we at least agree to get along until yeah, you know. one of you moves out? Yeah. And if getting along means, like I said, if he's sitting here, you stay in your room. If you're in your room, you can be out here, or vice versa. If you're out here, you stay in your room or the kitchen and whatever the case might be. Because obviously, yeah, I'm getting along anymore. Yeah. And the sooner one of you moves out, the better. Yeah. So, yeah. All right. Okay, I will uh, talk with the R now about that. Uh, there you go. Talk, talk with the landlord, because we can't yeah. do anything about that. Yeah, yeah you just did. Okay? So go go talk to him about the guy moving you. Okay. Uh, also, there was another reason. If uh, his friend stay here, also, uh, I don't know uh, that uh, 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 who, uh, who uh, take my stuff or Okay, so again, here's right. the other thing you do. If, if you're not comfortable with him being in there, yeah. but the landlord says he's moving in here, yeah. have the landlord put a lock on your door. He yep. has a lock on his door. Make oh. sure you lock your door. You have a lock? Yeah. Then I would take all your stuff, put, them in your, put it in your room. And whenever you leave your room, lock the door. And if that, do if that lock ever gets broken or that door gets broken, we'll come here and we'll investigate. Okay. Maybe we'll take someone to jail. Uh, okay. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, All right? Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you're welcome. All right. All right, guys. Good luck. Yeah, thanks, man. All right. I'm not going right. to make you hug or anything. So. All right, Carly. Um, I can show you the bill. You will give me dinner, right? If you want to. Everyone, you will give me the bill.